Yo guys, how are we all doing this afternoon? We are going to uh, not really take a whole lot of time uh, on this intro. Why is this not working? That's a pain. Huh. Looks like my stream deck's not working. That's lovely. All right, let's see if this works. I have to install an update for it. Hopefully I don't have to restart my computer. But for now, we're gonna just go, let's see. We're just gonna go here. How are we all doing? A little rough start, but you know, not too bad. We're gonna hop on in to the We Are Austin TV Twitter space that they're doing right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into that. I gave a little bit of, a little bit of my spiel before uh, but we're just going to go ahead and unmute this. Uh, they're talking about Ethan Finley, it looks like. So we're going to hop on in and see what's going on there. At the 10, I'm waiting to see if it's confirmed on the field. I'm still in doubt. I still have my doubts. I don't know if Ethan Finley's going to be at the 10. But let's see. We got a new speaker in here, Rocky Pettis. You want to give us your takes? Rocky Pettis, go ahead. Hey, yeah, guys. I just wanted to... Uh, hey, I've been listening to you guys for a long time. I guess. A 2.5 over? I think it's going to be under, Tomas. I think under makes sense, at least to me. Uh, just talk about this team. I love this team. Um, I was watching also like the pregame show here, listening to you guys at the same time. They got Finley out on the wing, and they got uh, the two attacking midfielders as. Felipe and Wolf, and the running playing down in six. Okay. Uh, Felipe there we go. and uh, Wolf. Uh, He's going to be out on the wing. And then, uh, yeah, I just was going to give my thoughts on three. So you just kind of like sitting out, man. It makes me a little bit nervous. This yeah. So like game. they're saying, we're That's looking at the starting 11 for, uh, for Los Verdes or for the Verde and Black today. It, this stream, la stream, the, the stream deck has kind of thrown me for a bit, honestly. I'm used to everything not having to click it. Uh, but yeah, Stuvering goal. Backline, John Gallagher, Cascante returns from injury uh, today. Would have preferred him to stay uh, kind of out until uh, we see the Copa Tejas games uh, midweek or this upcoming week, uh, both Dallas and Houston um, on that. I think we play the 12th and the 16th are the next two games. Both of them are Copa Tejas games, so important games. Ruben Gabrielson, again, holds down that back line like normal. And Nick Lima gets the shout today over... Uh, Hector Jimenez the two midfielders were nobody's a hundred percent sure how the attacking five six really are gonna line up but it's it's ring hopefully rings at the six uh Felipe uh in front of him maybe and then the attacking four are Owen Wolf Ethan Finley Diego Fagundes and Danny Hosen up top uh it, it's gonna be interesting to see kind of how these players work together uh, in this lineup, because it's it's different than what we what we've normally seen from uh, from Austin FC 
in, in recent games. Let's hop back into the square space real fast. Opportunity for uh, Team Wolf to play in that center mid and, and show everybody, you know, just how far he's come. So I'm excited about it. Uh, and I hope Ring holds it down and, and anchors the, the, the defense. And I'm just curious to see where the goals are going to come from because that's a big, win, that's a big thing. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, Ring at the back uh, in, the, in the six, Team Wolf in his natural habitat. And hopefully Finley or Fagu or Hosen getting the start. One of those three up top. I'm, for, I'm uh, looking forward to see Danny Hosen play a full yeah, 65, I guess, really, is what it's going to be. It's a goal this game. It's been a while since we've had a defender get a goal, but I got I got a feeling that uh, we're going to get we're going to get some help on a set piece here. But yeah, ring at the six. Let's do it. I'd agree. Profe, I love it, man. Thank you so much for giving Ring at the six game. is is really necessary. What you said about the uh, defense players uh, getting a goal. Me and myself, I used to play center back and left back. So especially whenever the guys all the way in the back can get on the score sheet, we celebrate it like it's nothing. I mean, like like if it's something crazy. I do apologize if the stream is a little laggy right now. How you doing, Fernando? His, his pictures look like this guy's losing his. I like that Benfica badge. It's just different for us, you know what I'm saying? So you say you ask for updating stream deck now. This should not take very long. In fact, that is probably why streams looking a little fuzzy or not looking quite right. Situation we're in again. Some fans on Twitter uh, in the past couple of days been saying, yo. Winning is cool off of a comeback and all, but when are we going to get back to controlling games? When are yes. we going to get back to yes. playing confident football? And in the midweek press conference, Josh Wolf did say that versus Charlotte, we didn't play our best football. They took the ball from us. We usually have the ball, y'all. They had 60% possession against our 40. And Josh Wolf said that it was because of that turf. We're not used to playing on turf. Unfortunately, we're playing again tonight on turf. <laughs> or on turf today. It's going to be hard, y'all, but... I don't know. I want to get Fucho's take on, on this because he might be one of those people that say, yo, you're a multi-millionaire soccer player. Do your job. Turf or grass. I don't care. Fucho, give us your take on that. Hey, guys. How are you? Happy We're to good. see you. We're good. Awesome. Uh, hey, Fucho, I'm glad to know that you're speaking to us from heaven or Halo. I don't know where I am. you're at. Go ahead. So, yeah, I, I agree with the... Um, Surf is going to be a little bit different for a, a style of, uh, of play. We play a lot of passes. Ball is going to be faster. Uh, if it's faster, we it's going to be less All control. Right. Finish and so stalling. The guys, like you said, they're pros. They they need to be on their best. And like everybody else is saying, doing, Tomas? Why Dries is on the bench. In my Do you hear what I said about that? The, the over under. To, How you doing, Connor? Uh, Welcome in. And to be ready I do apologize with any issues with stream. Um, for some reason, my uh, stream deck has not wanted to work properly today. I uh, just reinstalled it, and it's it's not really even today. It's just since I started stream, really. And give the guys some rest. Let's see. Be ready for Tuesday because that game we have to win. What's up, the jersey? Yeah, this is the the Austin FC Pride kit uh, from this season. I bought this while we were down, while I was down in Austin for the Copa Teos game. So I thought I'd check it on, try and match it with the with the away jerseys, uh, since they don't have a uh, cool verde, unfortunately. I don't have a cool, ver cool verde kit, so I'm matching the pride jersey with the uh, home kit uh, for the... So I'm going to wear the home when we're wearing home, and I'm going to wear this when we're wearing the away, if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah Next all right there we go stream stream deck is back we're good thank you Fucho. appreciate your work we're just tuning in and hanging out with the uh we're awesome tv twitter space uh before the game starts we got Rigo Pinguino in here. We got a couple minutes left on this space before the match starts and we get the live tweeting. Rigo Pinguino, yeah. give us your take. That's what, Eric, this, that's what this is. Uh, thanks for letting me talk. Uh, I just want to say... I'm, I'm looking to get a... Uh, yeah, I, I was at the uh, stadium while we were there. Uh, and I wasn't sure if I should get a Cool Verde or the the Pride Kit. I do really like the colors on this one. Uh, it's nice. It's a little variation to just the, the Verde in Black, which I hope we don't get away from. But uh, it's just a little variation. And the Pride, since the Pride Kits change every year, I like the design of this one. Uh, so I thought I'd cop this one. And we're going to have the Cool Verde next season as well as our away kits. But the home kits are going to change excuse me, uh, at the end of the season. So if you want to pick up a home kit, head on and get one of the, the Verde and Black stripes. Uh, and then the this one is going to be going away at the end of the year, uh, but the away kit will stay for next season as well. Rotating lineup, 
Eid. Y'all are going to finish up the final thoughts on this game so we can give y'all a little bit of time to get those uh, last-minute snacks or your drink or your beer, your electric jellyfish, your kawama, or your coffee. I don't know what you like to get into, but make sure to get your water in because it has been hot the past couple of days, and it will be hot for the next couple of months, probably the next couple of years. Unfortunately. So you guys some results from the MLS that uh, happened in today. Obviously, the 7-0 from Philadelphia against That's big. United. The LAFC against LA Galaxy 3-2. We all know about it. Minnesota beating Vancouver. New York City 4-2 against the New England Revolution. Pretty crazy game. Very interesting result, though. Just, just ended. Portland 3-0. Seattle Sounders getting spanked. With a red card as well. I that, that was the bigger rivalry than the LA Galaxy game. I, I don't really think so. But it's our time to go. We play against ATL. Another Eastern Conference opponent, y'all. Good luck, everybody. If you want to say it's another Online. bonus game. <laughs> For the very name black with confirmation from andrew weeb himself don't like it twist the various colors because your eyes prefer the very danger yeah true I, I i see that later all right well that's the end of the we are austin tv twitter space just a little half hour a little half hour pre-game uh to that but now it's our pre-game we got four minutes till the broadcast starts and i think about 10 minutes or so until the the actual match kicks off uh, but looking at the other games that are kicking off and are, that are playing today. Team J, Aruha, three goals. Not happening. Not going to happen. Uh, we got a full back line. So, yeah. We got a full a, a full starting back line today uh, with John Gallagher, uh, Cascante, Gabrielson, and Lima uh, in front of Stu uh, in, in, in the net. Uh, but the other games that are kicking off, Today and this evening, we got two games kicking off at, at on the hour. Two, three games kicking off half an hour past that. Uh, those games are Charlotte and Nashville kicking off at the same time that we kick off in Atlanta. Half an hour after that, it's Cincinnati against New York Red Bulls. Don't know why you don't have a New York Derby there uh, for rivalry week, whatever that means. Uh, Toronto against San Jose. And then Montreal Sporting Kansas City is the last at the 4.30 Pacific time kickoff. Uh, five o'clock games, you have Chicago, Columbus, Orlando City against Inter Miami. 5 30 game, you have the other Texas Derby, the Texas Derby for the second biggest club in Texas. We all know what the biggest one is. And then to close the night, we have Real Salt Lake against the Colorado Rapids. And then Tuesday, the 12th, we only have one game, and that is Austin FC versus the Houston Dynamo. So we'll be live for that game for sure. That game will be two hours at pretty much right when this stream ends on Tuesday. The stream will start. It is a 6 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time kickoff uh, against uh, Houston. But looking at some of the. Just looking at some of the Twitter stuff going on. Looking at the Austin hashtag specifically. And then also looking at the game hashtag. Uh, let's see. Um, talking about the lineup, which is a little odd. People in Atlanta excited to see the very day game now. I'm officially in, I'm, I'm officially a New Englander. Okay. I vote that we call Austin FC folks that away. Sure. Chance to get nine out of nine away points. Wait, chance to get nine of nine away points with tonight's big match against Atlanta. Aren't we already nine of nine? Or are we six of six? I don't know. Let me see. I thought we were six of six. Or I thought we were already nine of nine. One of those a home game? Because we have three consecutive. Let's see of our games right now let's see um okay so yeah so on the road on the road we are six, we are nine of nine we are nine of nine technically yeah we're nine of nine in the month of june or since the start of june not including the Pachuki game. Because uh, we beat Montreal 1-0. We beat Charlotte 1-0. We beat Colorado 3-2. And then today. I 
out of nine from away game. On away games since the start of June. One nil at Montreal. Uh, one nil. One nil at Montreal. One nil at Charlotte. And then three to two. In Colorado. All right, we're good there. But now we're going to hop over and get the live stream started. The broadcast itself. There we go. I don't like how I can refresh the page that has me on the Austin FC versus Atlanta game. And it doesn't just refresh that page. It takes me back to the main page of ESPN Plus. There we go. All right, so it has... It has Wolf at the 10. Interesting. It has Finley Fogu... Uh, no, actually, it has Finley at the 10, yeah. Uh, it has it has uh, Owen Wolf in midfield. Central, not wide. Interesting. Interesting. Too bad we have to listen to the Atlanta United broadcast. Uh, at least I do. Are you going to be showing the, the game? Keith, unfortunately, I'm not... Unfortunately, but I will what I will be showing is I will be showing this is basically what we're gonna get during the game. That will have a uh live kind of right down where the lineups are right now is gonna have kind of a a field uh with the with the ball tracking the ball pretty much the entire time. We'll be relatively live. Sometimes it's actually in front of where I am uh on the live stream. Uh but no, unfortunately I will not be actually showing the game as I will get copyright strike for that. Uh, and that does hurt uh, streaming, unfortunately. I wish I could show the game. I wish I had some sort of deal with the MLS, with ESPN, with Disney, whatever it is. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, no. Fernando, Urti and G uh, Andreasi on the bench. Yes, that is correct. Uh, I believe that both has to do with them poorly recovering from the Colorado game. I'm pretty sure. Both of them had a little bit of injuries injuries if you will uh from that yeah absolutely Keith. um Baruti went down at the end of the game if you remember um he, he he looked a little uh uh out of breath i guess altitude sickness i'm not really sure uh and then uh drew UC, apparently over the week has been sick but not sick enough to not make the bench so we got hope that he'll be coming on uh, on off the bench at some point, maybe 60 minutes, get him 30 minutes of runtime. Uh, same with same with a routine. It'll be interesting to see those two come off the bench and see what an impact sub really looks like. Um, no Washington Carosa, unfortunately, but that does bring me to what we haven't done so far, which is the board. We have the board. First ever matchup between Austin FC and Atlanta United. Austin's new signing, Washington Carozo. Uh, will he get minutes today? I answer that question. He will not. He did travel with the team, uh, however. He did travel with the team, but will not be making an appearance uh, today. The standings currently, Austin FC is 10 wins, 4 draws, 4 losses, plus 13 goal differential with 34 total points on this season. Atlanta United has struggled quite a bit recently. This is their halfway point of the season. Uh, 5 wins, 5 draws, and 7 losses. Excuse me. 5 wins, 5 losses, 7 draws, uh, 0 goal differential, uh, 30 points on the season. Uh, the injuries for Austin FC is really just Johan Romagna. He's the only player that is listed as out with Freddie Kleeman with the knee injury, but he's going to be out for the season, so I don't bother with that. He also went on loan at the beginning of the season, so I'm not counting him uh, on these injuries. The other two is Julio Cascante, who was starting with a left hamstring injury, was questionable up until yesterday, or I guess earlier this morning. And then the other one is Johan Romagna uh, with a concussion at the beginning of the Colorado game, he's back on the bench. I would have preferred him to start over Ramon, over Cascante, but unfortunately, Romagna on the bench, which, okay, fine. I'm glad with the starting strong back line, but I am a little bit worried about injuries and re-injuring the same uh, players. But Austin FC has a history of comebacks. Four out of the five matches where Austin FC has trailed by two or more goals, 
we've earned points from. For those four games, we are two wins, two draws, and a singular loss. I can't remember who that singular loss is to. Galaxy, I believe. Um, yeah, Galaxy, we lost 4-1 against. Um, Atlanta United has only one win in the last seven matches. Don't know why I put four up. Seven matches. Seven matches. There's seven. One win in seven games. Uh, they have picked up points from seven and eight home matches, however. They're very, very dangerous at home this season. And Joseph Martinez and Dom Dwyer. Yes, the American from a couple years ago. Dom Dwyer plays for Atlanta. I did not know that until midweek. Not going to lie. Uh, they have 179 career uh, goals between the two of them. So hopefully we can keep that below 180. And hopefully not, neither of them score today. But if they do... Which I think they're going to. I don't think that we're back line is good enough. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think we're good enough to, to hold a, 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 a clean sheet today. Unfortunately. I don't think we are. But anyway, uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, hopefully we can keep them down uh, below 180 total. Roko Rios Nova is starting in goal for um for atlanta he's normally not their goalkeeper uh but he will be starting tonight which is interesting so hopefully we can test him a little bit i'm a little upset that we get to test a new goalkeeper with a number nine that has not really played um but oh well Game's about to kick off here. Also, he's never played in front of a crowd bigger than this today. We're kicking off here. Switch over. We will get this going here. Let's see. There we go. Bam. Interested to see no... There it is. I hope this stream doesn't break. If this breaks, we, we got problems with ESPN. I'm happy that Apple TV bought the MLS streaming deal. Game's kicked off. Austin FC is going from the right to the left. Excuse me. I'm wearing the cool Verde. Atlanta's in their darker black and gold, I guess, red. I don't really know what it is. Uh, let me refresh this for you guys because it doesn't want to work. Don't know why. Austin's playing back quite a bit. Their goalkeeper's playing where Manuel Neuer plays, um, which is interesting. There we go. Refresh that. That should come up with the... Maybe. It's not going to work. There we go. There it is. All right, it's starting there. Austin's just gonna let uh, let Atlanta play with the ball. There we go. So that's what stream. That's what it's gonna look like pretty much all game. That ball's gonna bounce around, uh, tell you where what's going on on the field, which is nice. The game is on Bailey Sports South the main feed. There's also a stream if you are in Austin on the CW, uh, and then also ESPN Plus, ESPN Plus USA if you are out of market for the game. Oh, dangerous ball there. Nobody's there. Skies went over the crossbar. That would be from Willie, I believe, 26. Yes, Willie, the fullback for Atlanta United. Skies won over the crossbar. Gets three points. It's a field goal. Field goal's good. Nothing, nothing going from him, though.
who's on um, who's on geez um stuver in red boots the ball at the field should be a throw in for austin it is it's gabriel singe playing the ball at his feet Stu boots it up yep finds foggy on this near side just in front of midfield danny hosen's dropping back for him doesn't quite get the ball to him Hosen does work. He's working back though. Gabrielson's there to clean up. Uh, John Gallagher pressed a little bit forward there. Balls at Lima's feet, which I don't necessarily like. Gets it up the field though. Over midfield line. Goes all the way back. Goalkeeper's up the field. Goalkeeper's Manuel Neuer apparently. Oh well. The music up a little bit for you guys. Normally I'm wearing a scarf, but it is it is warm uh, up here in Portland today. So I don't think we're going to have one on, unfortunately. Normally we do, but just not today. I didn't think we have one on last week either, either or last game, uh, unfortunately. Just too warm. I overheat very quickly. Oh, come on. Austin's sitting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody but Danny Hosen, effectively. Nine guys back. So it looks like we're going to be giving up possession again today. I think Austin FC has pretty much dominated possession in all but two or three matches this season. This is Dom Dwyer. Dom Dwyer is not playing today. Joseph Martinez up front. Arujo on the white. Almeida behind. Cisneros on the other wing. Rosetto and Ibarra holding down the midfield. Willie, Campbell, Franco, and McFadden. Get McFadden in the back line with the newcomer in goal between the sticks. Atlanta's better. We want to look at the do we want to look at the standings? That's a foul there against Ethan Finley. Or fouled Ethan Finley. Siphons, we want to talk about uh you want to talk about standings? You want to talk about actual results from this season? Atlanta is not better. Not this season, at least. I'd say last season, yes. I'd say, I mean, technically you can say historically, yes, but that's really not qualifying anything because we are a second year team. Second year team competing for Supporter Shield. When was the last time that happened? Is it Atlanta? Is it LAFC? It was Atlanta, wasn't it? Didn't Atlanta win the cup their second season? Or LAFC did it? One of the two did it. There you go. John Gallagher gets a little past it. That's a foul referee. Give him one of these. Give a Barra. Come on. Come on. Show the card quickly, referee. Get a hold of today's game. I mean, he does just hook his foot. McFadden got caught out. A Barra had to uh, double back in front and cover. Six minutes in. Feels like we're about 16 minutes in, 20 minutes in. Free kick here, headed on by Cascante. Cascante is looking iffy. Oh, geez, danger there. Out for a throw in for Atlanta. How are we doing? What do we think? Ah, that's the other thing that I wasn't that I didn't do. There we go. What do we think? Go ahead and get involved in the poll in chat right there uh, with what you think the final result is going to be. We have an Austin FC win. We have a draw and then we have Atlanta United win there. Nick Lamick boots the ball out into the uh, into the advertising boards. Bad touch there from Atlanta. Turnover. It was Owen Wolf earning that ball. Owen Wolf is playing in the in the middle. 
He's playing centrally with Finley out on that far side. Fogu finds John Finley. John Finley. John Gallagher causes the Atlanta player to go down. Saves that from the end line. Bad pass to Fogu. Does actually get, get there. Rings on the ball. Finds Wolf. Wolf in, in the middle. Tries to chip it up. Sorry, that's Finley, not Wolf. That was Wolf to, to ring. Ring find, tries to find Fogu. Doesn't quite get there. Fogu could have questionably be, questionably be offset. Good win, win, win back from ring. I am to Lima. Lima with a cross in. Yes! Finley! That's Finley, my boy! Let's go! Yeah, Finley say no celebration. Get back. Set up again. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Early, early goal. Early goal. Under 10 minutes. Atlanta better ho. Atlanta better ho. Let's go, baby. Early, early goal is great. We don't keep early. It's uh, a good head. That's a powerful header there. That's sorry, Finley. Finley with the assist. Felipe Martins with the goal. What am I saying? It's Felipe Martins. Felipe Martins with a with that powerful header. What am I saying, Finley? Come on. Wow, what an early goal from Felipe. That was Ethan Finley on the cross. Can I get another one? Nah, it's a try to try to reverse that one. That was Felipe tried to find Finley on the run. Couldn't quite get there. Oh well. It's all right. Ten minutes in, not even, and we're already leading. I think that's Felipe's first goal of the season, if I'm not wrong. Is that his first goal of the season or second? I don't remember if he scored yet. Um, do, 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 do. Felipe Martins. Felipe Martins. A stalker. Five foot nine. Five foot nine guy wins a header. Nice. Danny Hosen. Boots the ball upfield, has distance. That's that's Finley. And Felipe's coming right back into the middle. Ring. Nope. Uh, career stats. That's Finley. This lineup's throwing me for a loop. I do. I apologize. I, I'm not used to calling Finley's name. I'm not used to calling Felipe's name. Oh. That is his, he has, uh, Felipe Martins has four shots, one on target before today's match. So that is five shots, two on target with a goal. Does not have an assist, uh, 85, 82 and a half percent pack accuracy, pass accuracy. Uh, so he's definitely a, uh, a defensive minded midfielder. Uh, last season, uh, with DC United, he had one goal, three assists, 13 shots in 27 appearances, excuse me, 20, yeah, 27 appearances, nine starts. Not a goal. He had his most goals back in 2016 with 33 games played, 33 starts for the New York Red Bulls. Five goals, seven assists on 54 shots. Pretty much he scores once every 10 or so shots on target. Five for 54, two for 37, one for 26, none for two, one for 10, oh, zero for 11, one for 13, and, and one for five this season. So roughly every 10 shots he gets a uh, he gets a goal what's up Seb? how are you doing you guys struggled yesterday didn't you in the uh el trafico leap on right that's a foul referee give him one of these 
does get a free kick as well. My Galaxy lost yesterday. It was a, good, it was a game though. I, I was just following the uh, the score. I wasn't really even watching the game. I did I did watch a little bit of the New York. Um, uh, who did New York play today? The other Northeastern team, not in New York. Do we, uh, Revs. There it is. I don't know why it took me that long to figure out the word revolution. That's, that's Fago on the ball here. Beats a guy. Make it two. Make it two. Make it two. Ah, there's nobody there. One seen Gareth Bale. Oh, yeah, true. True. I forgot Gareth Bale was it. Oh, Danny Hoston tried to pick... Tried to just pick one up. Oh, uh, that would have been clean if he was able to get there. Dang. Danny Hosen, if he could just elevate that ball. Oh, uh, he tried to push him wide. Okay. Danny Hosen and Keely. Oh, were they? They're both there. Are they available? They were available yesterday, right? Or Keelini was at least. Correct. Are they available for their next game? Do you know? Let's see. I think, I think, uh, you know, if they're available to play, um, let's see who they play. Y'all play San Jose. Oh, there you go. Cascante is there. Ecuadorian got two goals. For, yeah, true. So Fuentes. Ecuadorian pride, but it sucks having it. Yeah, true. It's always bad to see when a national team player, um, uh, has to score against your team. But they don't play again until the 17th LAFC. Wow. Am I seeing that right? Yeah, okay. So we so Austin FC can can leapfrog LAFC with a win in the next two. Bale, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Keelini was available, but Bale was not. Okay. Yeah, because I saw Bale was in um street clothes in his inauguration, quote unquote, at, at after the game, I'm assuming. Uh with the crowd and everything. I think it was kind of, it's funny hearing him um, speak Spanish against LA. Oh, look at this counter, baby. Come on. That's Finley. Felipe Martins again is upfield. <laughs> Felipe Martins is again the top guy coming in. All right. Felipe Martins playing up the field, which is good because I mean that. Oh, uh, yeah, push that wide. That's Felipe. Felipe. It's Finley. That's Lima. Uh, trips himself on the turf that's a foul though referee that's a foul give us the free kick give us the free kick come on come on oh it's fagu there's nobody in the middle come on you gotta put somebody in the middle there cut it back oh my god that's a <laughs> let's go that's two that's two Atlanta who? Atlanta what? Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's terrible defending. That is horrific defending. You have to give an assist to, to Fago on that one. I mean, it would have been, I mean, full. Oh. oh. Ouch. Finley. That's two goals in 20 minutes. Let's make it 9-0. 
you know how philly had the most goals scored uh in a season yesterday at 7 nil or today it's yeah, yesterday at 7 nil um let's make it 9 nil let's, let's score a goal every 10 minutes why don't we Finley with with an assist and a uh, and a goal now. Finley's the MVP. Finley's the MVP. And the more I watch Danny Hosen play, uh, Mark Turner tweeted it as well. Uh, it, it looks like Danny Hosen's a 10. It looks like Danny Hosen's a center forward uh, or an attacking midfielder, not necessarily a, a out and out number nine. Look at, he's the third guy forward. Fuck, Felipe's in the middle more. Overshot, that's a Finley, Finley overshot uh, Fagu. And there he is. That's Danny Hosen cleaning up the mess. John Gallagher put one into Finley. Oh, nah. Dang. Yeah. Danny Hosen looks like a 10, y'all. Danny Hosen looks like he plays behind the striker. Huh. Danny Oh, I'll push that wide. It's Finley again. Oh, it's, it's a bad touch for Finley. It's all right. We can give him that one. Just don't. There you go. That's Teen Wolf there. Puts one in the middle. Not quite tall enough to get over the, uh, the head of Franco. Put it back. Agu with a rip. Nope. Should have played it to Danny Hosen on this on this outside. Oh, don't play it there. Okay. Come on, watch out. No, nobody in that. Good. There we go. The defensive shape doesn't exist for Atlanta. a foul against Austin. interesting are you guys who in here uh type of one if you guys are watching the game as well or uh two if you're watching just me so one if you're watching the game two if you're just watching me i have a question for all the ones for all the guys that are actually watching this game Nothing. Push the shot wide there. 
from Atlanta. It's ahead there. It's Fogu. Nope. That was Danny Hosen winning the header again. Yep. Oi! Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. That's a high kick. He hit him in the forehead. Hit him in the forehead. Now get him off. At least a yellow. Come on. That's ridiculous. That's right. He just kicked him in the head. He, just, he legitimately just kicked him in the head. I mean, he, he straight up kicks him in the forehead. I, he, he straight up kicks him in the forehead. What is this? You have to produce at least one of these, if not one of these for that. Come on. VAR? Yellow card? Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Produce the yellow card for that. That's fine. I'm okay. Yeah, there was a foul before that, but there's still a necessary reasoning to kick our guy in the head. That's fair. That's Luis Arujo with the yellow card. So he doesn't have two goals like TMG Razor Race says. Sorry, I'm going to call you out for that one. Razor Race says he's going to get two goals, three goals, excuse me. Instead, he has to settle for a singular red card. A singular yellow card, excuse me. Excuse me, not a red card, a yellow card. There is no passion. Austin's playing very defensive. What? Felipe's up at midfield. Interesting. It's looking at 4 4 2. Felipe is the another striker. That's a bad foul. Wolf, come on. It, it looks like we, we've moved to a 4-4-2, realistically. I mean, yeah, Danny, Danny Hosen looks like a number 10. That's a questionable foul, but whatever. Fine. All right. You know what? We're pulling out the notebook, y'all. We're pulling out the notebook. We're pulling out the notebook for the notes. Uh, what else do you have a notebook for besides notes? Just doing this for the post game. Uh, Twitter space.
Weird that Austin isn't getting a lot of national games on Spanish channels. Yeah, it's because they hate... Everybody hates Austin. Everybody hates Austin and Texas teams for some unknown reason. I mean, I get, I get hating other Texas teams, but I don't know why you hate Austin teams. Austin, a lot of... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, could have been three there. Dynamo get them and they aren't good. Well, yeah. So put Austin on instead. I'm sad that Atlanta sent uh, Owen Wolf on a, on a, out on a loan. It's out for Stu. Like right now, <coughs> excuse me, Fox Deport is showing Nashville. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, this is the part of, of our play that I hate. I hate playing. I mean, that's a foul. I was just tweeting about how decent this referee is. You can't call that a handball. I hit him in the groin. You can't give that. You have to give the foul before that, if anything. Come on, keep it calm. Keep a level head. Keep a level head. Good. Wait, how much does Diego Amada cost? You guys know what happened in the game? Uh, it, one of the Atlanta guys came in from kind of behind, kind of the side. Um... Oh, what's up, Brian? How are you? Yeah, I, I, about about the Atlanta defending. I just don't, I don't want to hurt their feelings too much. I mean, they're already getting destroyed by a 17 year old homegrown kid. I, I don't I don't really want to verbally assault them too bad. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, Seb, it, it was uh, one of the Atlanta players came in kind of from behind, kind of from the side, uh, took the depossessed one of our players, uh, took a shot from the top of the D, roughly. Uh, and Cascante was uh, just inside the area. His his arm his arm was kind of like on his body, and he kind of hit him kind of here ish, like kind of hit the arm, but not really. And all Atlanta players and fans were shouting for a, a yellow card at least, or and a penalty. But no, 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 none of that, none of that. Atlanta sucks, Ben. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, there's a reason why they're five, five, and seven. Um, you can't even see it; they're so bad. Yeah, there, there's a reason why they they're even on goal differential and only have thirty points. Imagine, pl imagine playing your nineteenth, your eighteenth game of the season, or seventeenth game of the season. No, this is their eighteenth. Uh, and they're... Boy! No, 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 no. Good clearance, Gabrielson. Atlanta's getting getting ruthless. I mean, this, se this season, they're pretty bad. And, and I don't know if that necessarily has to do with how they're playing or just the fact that they have... Let me see, how many players injured? Uh, was that Ronald? 
Os Osvaldo, Robinson, Dylan, Brooks, Craig Guzan, Andrew Gutman. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven players injured. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we wore this last week, didn't we? Or last stream? I think we did. Uh, looking like the Falcon. Yeah, true. Um, sure. Um, but yeah, uh, seven, I, I think it's literally just, um, I mean, this is, this is the, it's the pride kit from this year. Every, every team's got one. That's a handball. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's fine. Um, I, I think, I think Atlanta's bad this year because they have seven starters injured. Or I don't necessarily starters. I don't follow Atlanta United enough. That's weak shit. Oh my God. That's weak. But okay. I mean, I'll take a foul, but if you give anything more than that. Yeah. I just a foul. I didn't get to say it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You're the second person that's come that said something about the jersey being new or looking cool or whatever. And I was just like, did am I just stupid? Or did I, I thought I wore this jersey last year because I'm trying to coordinate the pride kit with our cool mint and the home kit with the home kit, if that makes sense. So like when we when we wear our away kits, I'm going to wear this one. And then when we play at home, I'm going to wear that one. So, yeah, just trying to get some some rotation going. That's a terrible free kick for Atlanta. Danny Hosen, there we go. McFadden's a good player. How much did he cost? How much does McFadden cost? I want one. Come on, Felipe. Good. Agu. There we go. No, I wouldn't get one. I need to save them. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God! A Felipe brace! A Felipe brace! Oh, what? Oh, he's offside. Oh, oh I'm going to cry about it. I'm going to cry about that one. Let's see. Hey, that's a shit. Oh, that ball's five yards out when you pause that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, double check that. No, double check that. Go look back. Go look at that. No. Uh, okay, now that you see it, in, I mean, that's a, that, they pause in a really bad spot. Right there. Uh, I, I mean, he, this is off. This is off, but... I, I hate that. Uh, I'm looking to see. I'm looking to, I have my jerseys all hanging up on this side. Um, I'm looking to see if I have any with collars on them. I don't think they look bad. I think they're good for retro kits, but I don't think the modern era, they're good. If that makes sense. What I, I like, I, if I would buy one would be if they're retro. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, just I was just looking, um, wondering if Wolf's brother is going to. No, Ben, he got loaned out. He got loaned out. Mint green with a collar. I like I said, I don't think it works with modern kits. But like, I have a. Oh, what is it? A Strootman Roma jersey from like eight or nine years ago, ten years ago, maybe. I don't remember how long ago I got that jersey. And that looks good. Like the old Roma kits with collars look cool. Mint green. I mean, I think it might be interesting. It's Felipe down, which isn't good. 37 minutes in. Yeah, a, a retro kit with a, with a collar. Yes. It 
looks like it Felipe's out with a concussion, maybe. Yeah, no, he put it, they sent him on loan, Michael. They sent him on loan. Tyler Wolf to Belgian SK Bavarin. Bavarin? I'm probably butchering the name. Uh, yeah, but they, uh, Atlanta United homegrown, loan homegrown Tyler Wolf. Atlanta United loan homegrown Tyler Wolf to Belgian side SK Bavarin. Uh, yeah. So they sent him on loan, unfortunately. It would be cool to see him play today. I wonder how long it takes the Austin to get a retro kit. Uh, uh, pff, retro kit to what? <laughs> what do we get a retro? La last season's white kits? I mean, it's probably it's going to be at least a decade, I'd say. I'd like to see it like a 10 year anniversary kit of something. It's a good movement from Gallagher there. If, uh, uh, if, uh, uh Brian, if FC, uh, Austin FC Ireland's still in here, good job with your boy. Your boy's making plays, making effort all season. Good tackle. That's a foul referee. Thank you. That's two on a barra. That's two on a barra. That's a full, f that's a full, give him in the business right there. Boom. Nah, you got it. You got to card it. You got to give him one of these. You got to give him one. Yeah, I, I think a 10 year anniversary kit would be clean. I think a 10 year anniversary kit would be clean. Zeb, it's on, e are you, I'm assuming you're doing something then because it's on ESPN plus. Uh, if you, you probably don't have ESPN plus then if you're not doing anything and wanting to watch it. Um, who, which of you guys are going to get the Apple TV bundle thing? When it comes out for the MLS. You don't have the other guy, yeah. Maybe. My dad's a season ticket holder, so I think I'm just probably going to yoink his. Um, yeah, probably. I think we'll see Croza tonight. Unfortunately, we won't, Michael. Uh, he traveled with the team. Uh, however, he did not make the starting uh, 18. The starting 18? The, the suited 18. Uh, for Austin right now on the bench, it's Jared Stroud, Maxi Aruti, Musa Jite, Rodney Redis. Mm -hmm. That is not fashion. Sebastian Driussi, Hector Jimenez, Johan Romana. Romagna, Yen Kolmanak, and Andrew Tarbell with Keller and uh, Danny Pereira suspended uh, and Johan Valencia still injured. Good job getting out of that. John Gallagher's on a run. Brian, your boy's making a run. Send him. Oh, he should have just chipped him a little bit. No, what? How? How is it off us? That... They go Felipe. Felipe's putting in work. Nah, yeah, good. Huh? What? That came off his chest. That's that's a bullshit yellow card. That's a bullshit yellow card. It's a bullshit yellow card. Oh, get your yellow inflatable bullshit down. If you want to do yellow shit, do an actual card. Spend the money. For a six dollar pack of a yellow and a red card. Just knocked over Spider-Man. There we go. Keep tagging at FA Ireland. Get John International call up. It's your life's mission now. There you go, Brian. Yeah, do it. Do it. I mean, the guy deserves it. 
I mean, who's y'all? Who's I mean? Uh, let me see. Irish national team. Republic of Ireland national football team. I want to see what y'all's lineups look like. That's a good tackle, Lima. Wait. Hold on, Brian. Does the Republic of Ireland have two FAs? Good tackle. Lima again. Does does Republic of Ireland have two national teams? Or or did they used to have two national teams and now they're back to one? I mean I'm looking out for your players. Seamus Coleman, he's getting old. Shane Duffy. Looking Dara Shea. Just looking at teams that like make sense to uh, Like people that have record names that I, that I recognize. Dara O'Shea, Shane Duffy, Seamus Coleman. Um, isn't one of your fullbacks um, the Irish? Yeah, Matt Doherty. I mean, bro, imagine a back line, Brian, of. Your well, at least fullbacks of Matt Doherty and uh, <laughs> John Gallagher. <laughs> oh, good ball. Oh, okay. Uh, a little miscommunication there. Brian, what's your opinion on on Decky on Decky Rice? On Declan Rice, I want to see. One is Republic of Ireland, the FAI, and the other is North. Okay. Okay. So I saw something when I just looked up Republic of Ireland national team uh, that there was like during the War of Independence or something like that. Uh, one of the. Um, somebody broke off from FAI and three minutes of stoppage time and created their own FA or something. John how. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, I know, uh, I mean, yeah, I know that there's the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. I was wondering if, like, I'm, of Ireland itself, not Northern Ireland, had a second FA or if that got abolished or whatever. Because at least what I just saw, it said that there were, at least at one point, there was two national teams or at least two FAs. I might be wrong, though. I also read three, two lines of, a, of an article uh, on Google. So I could be very long, very wrong. Yeah, because I know they're like the Northern Ireland, which had, I mean, they're star guys. Um, I just blanked on his name. George Best. There it is. I blanked on his first name. I'm going to call him John Best. And I was like, that's not right. That's Felipe got a free kick boot to the back of the head. That hurts. I've had that happen to me. That hurts. He took a, take a free kick that's just booted up field. Right in the back of the dome. Yeah. You know what scares me? The galaxy next year will fall into another season of sucking if we can't get our players. It's not even true. It's gonna be a drop ball for for Atlanta. Oh no! Oh, they went out for the throw. <laughs> there he is again. That's an awesome throw. There we go. Quick first half, really. They've got. It says it says thirty seconds, but it's got to be a little bit more because 
a full minute and a half of that was injury time. I'll push it up. Yeah, Felipe, Felipe Martins is still playing. Don't think there was a breakaway, but maybe there was some Madlet. I think, yeah, I think it was a Madlet who tried it. And then I, I wonder if it was one of those things that he's like, I declare a new FA. And everyone's like, I have fun. See ya. And just went back to the regular one. That's what I'm going to assume. Referee, any time now? Uh, referee, don't call it. Referee, call it. Referee. Highlighter, you want to call a, you want to call half yet? <clears throat> All right, you, you can blow. You can blow for, you can blow for half. You can blow for half. You have the ability to blow for half time. You have the ability to blow for half time. Oh, oh, well, well, give him a one, two. Give him a something, something. This first half's been fun. This has been fun to watch. I do like this. Uh, don't blow for half. Don't blow for half, ref. Oh, Danny, put it on frame. Don't try and be special. Just put the ball on frame. <laughs> All right, referee, you can blow for half. Referee, blow for half. Referee, blow for half. Referee, blow for half. Referee, blow for half. There you go. Thank you. The referee's going to give me a panic attack. <laughs> That half was good. I mean, a good result, a good good stat wise. Uh, Atlanta's playing dirty. Atlanta's playing a little uh, little aggressive. Playing possession for sure, as you guys see on screen right there. Uh, zero goals for Atlanta, two for Austin FC. Possession is split, 67-32 percent. Here's the interview with the head coach of Atlanta. We need to do better defensively first of all because we are very fragile. It's incredible that the first two crosses are goals. And then after that, they don't have anything. Um, so we have to do better defensively. We almost scored a third one on another cross. Attacking better. And that means we create more, more space in between the lines. So we are going to see a little change here to see if we can have a little bit more attacking third movements. Change with personnel? Yes. Okay, I'll check in with you. Thanks, Gonzalo. That was the, red, the head coach for Atlanta, not knowing what he's talking about. Um, so apparently we had two crosses. The first two crosses were something. Uh, and then after that, we had nothing. I mean, we did have two shots on target and five shots total. So I think we had three more options, uh, at least shot creation or, uh, but yeah. Okay. Fair enough. No corners for Austin, one for Atlanta, one shot on target for Atlanta and nine total shots for Atlanta. So yes, Atlanta did have the better of the second half of the first half uh but yeah i mean that was <laughs> uh whew. i mean Atlanta's midfield was non-existent who is their midfield risotto and a i mean abara was there he just put elbows into josh jo uh, josh wolf uh owen wolf's back twice uh a bar should be on a yellow uh, i believe there's only two yellow cards given one to gallagher one to a no, oh, it was one to Ibarra, actually. It was one to Ibarra for the uh, head to... I mean, I think, I think it showed good. It 
And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and the dislike goal. So I don't know. I mean, given I'm critiquing the, I'm, I'm critiquing the head coach on saying something poor about his opponent. I, I, I really. You're a donut. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. You're stupid. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. <laughs> yeah, of course he's gonna say that they had nothing else. He wants to inspire something in his team, but I mean, man, Atlanta's got nothing. Uh, all right, I'm gonna. I, this is we are Austin TV tweeted this, so I'm gonna have uh, every, anybody in chat do the same thing. Describe the first half in a single word. One word. How would you describe that first half? What do you guys think of the uh How would you guys describe that first half if you're watching it? I know Seb you're not watching it. Um how would you uh describe that first half? Oh, what is this? Another interview. It's out. empty. But it's loud. It's loud in here. People having fun. I never heard. Who is this? During the national anthem. In, ever, in any game. That was crazy. Now, it was specifically very loud in here when you were nailing in that golden spike. How was it? I couldn't actually hear the people. Was it loud? Very loud. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. That was, it, was, it was fun. Um, it was a little bit heavier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but no, it was good. It was fun. You know, there's so much pageantry, so much music at these Atlanta United games. If Jermaine Dupree could bring one of his... You said it sounded fun. Game, which one do you feel like yeah. it's a five stripes game? I said, I said laughable. I was hoping you were going to say that. Why is Jermaine do What? What else could I say? No. Welcome to Atlanta. Jermaine, I've been a fan of yours for a very long Jermaine, time. Jermaine, why is he... Somebody out there that you haven't collaborated with yet, who would it be? What? Yeah, so I'm trying to finish this Usher album, and I'm working on, well, I'm actually finishing the Division group uh, that's actually signed to Drake. I'm finishing their album. Um, I got a small little album. I'm I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care anymore. Uh, uh, why is Jermaine Dupree here? The guy's from North Carolina. Does he live in Atlanta? What is the... Sure. Sure, I guess. I mean... I'm looking at the stadium... It is empty. It is. It is empty. It's kind of sad to see, um, to see stuff like that. <clears throat> good first half though really yeah it could have been i mean we could have been up three four one i mean let's be honest here um it's actually very loud could be up a little bit more i mean that that offside flag was tight if you will say it was uh it, it was I, I i don't know how i feel about like the shoulder being counted as offside 
I feel like whatever body part you have that hits the ball, that makes contact with the ball, has to be onside. But not... Like, like if you're leaning forward, but you score it with your foot, I feel like that should be fine. Um, but I, that, that might just be me. That might just be me. What do you guys think? Uh, I, I think they need to change the offside rule a little bit. Um, but... I mean, hey, I'll take a, I'll take a first half like that. Do you have you seen any of this? Uh, Who we are in the shadows? I keep seeing ads for it, and I'm tempted to watch it. That ad got cut real short. Somebody said, uh, Parker, who's been involved in the We Are Austin TV Twitter spaces, um, has said, in order for a team to get a card against Austin FC, they have to literally murder somebody. For Austin FC to get a card, they have to flick them. And I just said, nah, we just have to ex exist next to them. True. All right, let's see. Uh, you know what is something with MLS growing as it is? I wouldn't be surprised if the Stars of the signing for the US. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I was. I was saying this the other day. Uh, it should eventually overtake baseball. I'd question to even say that it already has um, has overtaken baseball. What is this? It's all about. I love what I'm seeing. I love what's going on right now. This is what it's all about. <laughs> I like that. Stephen A. Clip. I, I'd argue that it's already overtaking. It's already overtaken baseball. Really? I see more people, and I don't know if it's just the. The people that I hang around with or the people that I interact with on a day to day. Um, I see more people talking about MLS than MLB. Red Bull scored. There you go. Guys, if you are new to the channel, please do feel free to go to Melo, hit that subscribe and hit that bell. If you are new, it does help me out quite a bit. It does help share the stream to anybody. Also, while you're, uh, you know, doing all the technical stuff, go ahead and hop over uh, into the chat. You'll see at the very top of the the chat um <clears throat> you'll see uh, a a a poll that we have going uh with a final what what you think of the for a final result we've got an austin win we have a draw and we have an atlanta united win go ahead and get involved there this poll uh i started about an hour ago 20 votes currently uh i will end it with the game being over i'll end it uh, with that so go ahead and get involved early Get involved there and we'll see uh we'll see what the community thinks let's see looking at the other games today let me refresh this mls page <clears throat> all right looking across the league currently uh 39th minute charlotte in nashville uh charlotte is leading one nil over nashville and the other game cincinnati in new york red ball red balls red bulls <clears throat> is tied at one apiece 31 minutes in san jose leads toronto only 30 minutes in also about 30 minutes in is montreal versus sporting kansas city that game is also tied at one apiece and then also finally chicago and columbus has gotten two minutes underway it just ticked over to two minutes uh anytime momentarily we should see orlando city against inter miami kickoff and then in about half an hour we have the uh, Copa Teos game between Houston Dynamo and FC Dallas uh, for the second and third smallest clubs in Texas. Uh, finally kicking off in about two hours, we have Real Salt Lake taking on Colorado. I'll probably pay attention. I don't know if I'll watch, but I'll definitely pay attention to the Houston Dynamo game. Uh, the second half of that, because we probably will be, yeah, we'll probably be live for the first half, uh, but not the second. So, that's where we're standing with the rest of the league. Standings currently, Red Bull are in front of Philadelphia uh, on head-to-head, -head, I believe, or goals four. I can't remember. Uh, New York, Philly, uh, New York City uh, FC in third at 32 points. Red Bulls and Philly are on 33. 30 points sits Montreal. Charlotte sits right below them at 26. Cincinnati 
also tied at 26, but sitting below that. New, uh, sorry, not New Orleans, uh, not New England. Orlando City with 25 points. New England also has 25, sitting right below them, just outside of the playoff mark. Columbus in ninth, Inter Miami in tenth, Atlanta United in eleventh, which means they're in the bottom third of their conference, which means that this counts as a wonderful bonus game for Austin FC. Toronto in 12th at 18. Chicago also at 18, sitting below them. And DC United with 17 points. Five wins, two draws, 10 losses. I believe they're... Nope. Uh, Charlotte has 10, and Toronto has 11 losses this season. But Toronto is a point ahead due to the one extra game played. Looking at the Western Conference real quick. Atlanta? Uh, Atlanta? No, Atlanta's in the East and down low. Uh, LAFC tops the... Uh, Western Conference and the league with 39 points. Austin since it's second at 37 points. Uh, one more game will probably boost Austin over LAFC. We're also at Lake at 29, Galaxy at 27, Minnesota at 27, FC Dallas at 27, Nashville at 27. So there's a long eight point drop off. Driussi and Aruti are coming on for the second half for Austin, right at halftime. So I'm assuming it's Danny Hosen and Felipe. No, Owen Wolf, 33. Owen Wolf comes off for Drew C. And Danny Hosen comes off for Maxi Ruti. So they just have to need a little bit extra break. Didn't want to overexert their body uh, for the for this game. And especially for Copa Teos. Yes, yeah, so there's the eight point difference between second and third. And then everybody else in playoff contention is only two points away. Then Seattle and Portland are both at 26 points. Vancouver in 10th at 24 Houston and San Jose below them at 21. Colorado at 19. And Sporting Kansas City tied with the worst points in the league at 17. They sit bottom of the table. And these we've kicked off now here for the second half. Austin FC has the ball. Felipe stays on. Owen Wolf. Uh, Finley stays on. Excuse me. Felipe also stays on. Owen Wolf comes off. And Danny Hosen comes off as well. I think Danny Hosen should start probably at a 10. Not a nine. I, I don't think Austin. I mean, the fact that we had to result as a central midfielder scoring our goals uh, is a little questionable. But hey, we'll take it. A goal is a goal. At the end of the day, scoring is scoring. Austin FC scores, shares the best record away, best road record. Road record with New York Red Bulls. How many times can I say the letter R in a sentence? Seb, you think this game is going to be a 1-1 draw? Go ahead and get involved in the uh, in the poll. Are you one of those guys that waits till the end of the, the end of the game to do it? I've been ended about 80 minutes. Atlanta looks a little smoother right now, which isn't great. Playing. Looking to cross it. Looking to hit a shot. Nope. McFadden couldn't quite get anything. Couldn't get any area around him. Gabrielson was right there. Lehman pushes wide. Causes him to cut inside. There you go. Ring gets there. Boots the ball up. Or out for... Nope. Saved by the fullback. Atlanta still... Are they playing a back six? Is that what I just heard? Switch the field. Ball's now on that far side. One-on-one -on -one against Bagu. Gets the cross out. Gabrielson gets ahead on it. Right to Atlanta. Who doesn't control that very well? Lima boots it upfield. No, so, oh, the score. Oh, for the the Red Bull. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. What do you think this game's gonna end? Get involved in the uh, in the poll if you haven't already. But yeah, the two substitutions for Austin FC are Owen Wolf coming off and Danny Hosen coming off. That pushes uh, Finley out wide. Driussi central uh, in midfield, and then also. Um, uh, Maxi Ruti up top, who's playing the ball on the ground right there. 
Oh, Cascante's there. Hits it back to Stu, who just chips the ball up the field. Oh, you put your prediction? Cool. All right. I wasn't sure if you got involved in that or not. That's Felipe. Puts the ball wide for Fagu. Finley's running into the box. Fagu cuts it back. Sends one to Driussi. He's getting pressed. Four guys around him. Chips the ball up. Finds Cascante, who's looked pretty well with that hammy injury. Don't think that's going to nag him anymore. Finley's there. Maxi in the middle of the box. Finds Felipe. Back to Lima. Who's going to put a left foot switch. So that's Jack Gallagher. Gallagher tries to rip one and skies it. I think that's I think that's up there at the top of the flag uh, right now, unfortunately. That's all right. He wants he wants a goal. John Gallagher wants a goal. Uh-oh, Stu right there. All for Atlanta. I don't know why they just tied it against Calgary. Oh, yeah. I don't know. For a second, I thought you were talking about uh, uh, Canadian football, not Canadian soccer league. I was very confused for a second. He just got corrected. Correcting the name of our player. His name is John Gallagher. Not Gallagher. Not Gallagher. Gallagher. I probably butchered that by saying that, but whatever. John Gallagher. Free kick Atlanta United, probably 20 yards out. Yep, about top of the top of the D it looked like. I mean it is a foul. Ring's not happy with it. Ring at the six again. Looks like Josh is finally understanding this. I don't know if that's just because Danny's not playing or what. But it, it, it looks like maybe Josh Wolf has understood. <laughs> yeah, so she came in here and wiped you, Seb. Why? Yeah, so what'd you just do? You just would go back and delete all of Seb's comments? Disa, what you just do? What are you doing? There, there, Gafagu. There, oh, doesn't quite get that. Gallagher. Yeah, yeah, Gallagher. I'm Irish. A little bit. I try and get her. I've I've been trying to correct people for eight months now, at least a year. Tried to at least. Maxi, there you go. I'm just need an ad for Publix. Uh, any of y'all that live in the southeast, or south yeah southeast. Any of you guys that live down there in Florida. Georgia, Alabama, all that that have Publix and think it's the best grocery store over uh, like 
of all overrated i said what i said you know what else thinks overrated in and out in and out is overrated Publix is trash it's just a i mean it's it's nothing special i mean it's any of east coasters or southeast guys whatever stop never been to a stop and shop can't say anything about it is stop and shop a, a northeastern thing is stop and shop the the northeastern version of Publix or Fred Myers or HEB or something like Costco's the goat yes The eastern version yeah stop and shop is north yeah northeastern okay yeah it's it's the regional the regional uh grocery store you have such shop right okay the hair qualifies the numbers, but yeah it does i wish it actually did i'd go to ireland a lot more <laughs> i'm still trying to get my my european passport Shepard is better hot food and they've grown. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. My, uh, my grandfather, my dad's side is from Germany, like born in Germany. Um, oh, I hate those balls that skim across the top of the six. Doesn't touch anybody out for a goal kick or if it does, referee doesn't call it. Um, my grandfather, my dad's side is German. Uh, so my dad has been trying to get him to get a passport for. A couple years now. I don't think it's gonna happen, but oh well. I don't know why. Is it just me? Do you guys like the the lo-fi music in the back? What's up with this ref? This half? Uh, he he overcalled things in the first half. I don't know. I was referees in uh in constant, not constant. I don't know what a word I'm trying to say. The ref is out game. The ref. Or your game give it yeah i saw that dso See, it's the post, but Trius is there to finish it off. I don't know. You got banned? Do you say, why'd you ban? What'd you ban him for? What'd you ban him for? DSO did it. I'm just gonna call him out for it. Yeah, DSO did it. You suck. Cool. Thanks. Dude, it's two it's oh two. Uh it's actually zero three. Um I don't know if you knew that, Naaman. Uh it's it's actually three nil now. I don't know if you I don't know if you know that. Um yeah. Now uh can we play them rest of the season? Nah, DSA Ben, it doesn't matter. We'll play, we'll do this to anybody. We'll do this to anybody. It's fine. Why not reload it? What do you mean? I don't know. I to be honest, I don't know how to unban somebody. Oh, I could have gotten a four a, a fourth. Uh, 
I, I, I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. I don't know how to unban... Because I can't tell if he banned it or... To show... Why not reload it to show score? Oh, I didn't even realize that it was... My bad. My bad. Honestly, I didn't even realize that it was... It was still 0-0 zero, zero up there. My bad. Y'all should have said something the first... Last 30 minutes of the game. Trying to refresh it here. Atlanta fans wish it was still zero zero. Yeah, true. What is happening to this? Oh, whoa. Mine also says zero zero. Let me see. Good deflection there. There we go. That should refresh it now. When it comes back, it should. Yeah, there you go. Lost one. Stu, what a save! Cat like reflexes. Cat like reflexes. Stuver is still the main man himself. It's a huge save from Stu. Fingertip save off the left hand. Corner taken quickly. Didn't do anything. Corner not taken quickly. Amada low again out for a, that's. There we go. Good. The third. I missed the third. I saw the first. I saw the second and the fourth. Honestly, I forgot the game was on until after you I got to know. I checked it. I checked my, the scores of the games and stuff to just confirm what time this game was. And I saw y'all were up 1 0 already. And I was like, oh, I. Oh, I did see that actually. I did see that one, DSO. Yeah, I saw, I saw second, third, and fourth. 30 minutes left. If he keeps doing what he's doing, he could make the US team. Stu, yeah. Stu, yeah. He could. Thirty-eight goals. Mark Turner's just said, "Let's hope Atlanta United don't sub Martins in." Um, I I think I, I think he's been in. I think I think Joseph Martinez has been in the entire game. I can't tell if he's sarcastic or not. Probably gonna be Steph and Horvath. It'll probably be, it'll probably be Steph. I'd assume. Which, yeah, I guess. Unless one of them is injured. Joss, yeah. Yeah, the US is... Uh, Stu's also getting up there in age, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I, I don't think he'll... I, I think one of those four that you said DSO would, wouldn't probably start. Instead. Gallagher's overlap, uh, underlapping. Excuse me. Back to Fagu. Fagu to John. John tries to shot out for a corner or out for a throw. I was going for a corner, but it wasn't. I believe this is our second corner of the game. This is almost true. Yeah, and that's why he's not top three. That's why he's out there, uh, not really involved. If you guys are new to the channel and are enjoying the stream. Please feel free to go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. It does help us out quite a bit. Way over the top out for a goal kick, Atlanta. Oh well. The game was horrible in my FC. I mean, yeah, sure they did. But, I mean, hey, uh, three points is three points at the end of the day, regardless of how you get it. He's the only starter out of... Yeah, true. But I uh, he Yeah. It's an interesting it's an interesting our, our goalkeeper the US goalkeeping is is strange. 
But you never know. Turner, I don't think Turner's going to start. Not Turner. Um, did Turner just went to Arsenal, didn't he? I want to think. Where did Turner just go? Yeah, Arsenal. I don't think Matt Turner will start over... Um, Ramsdale. I don't think he'll start. Oh, what a move, Drew. See. Yeah, turn it. Yeah. I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll start over. Uh, Ramsdale. Uh, Stefan wants out of city. Wants to go on loan. Don't know how that's gonna work. Doubt it. I mean, he's their backup. I mean, so with with city, you have Ederson. Then you have Kyle Walker, and then you have Zach Stefan, I believe. Cross here, Gallagher gets nowhere. I like Philly win. Yeah, Turner is the only. Is there for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Aruju, right to Stu's hand. Aruju, who's who was saying Aruju is gonna gonna get, gonna get a hat trick today? Oh. Sixty fifth minute. Oh, that's Justin Martinez gets out muscled by Ruben Gabrielson out for a corner. All right, Seb, have a good day, man. Uh, see you. Uh, see you later. I don't know. You're worried about the U.S. team? Eh, the U.S. team will be. I mean, I don't think we'll. I mean, I'm thinking maybe another round of sixteen exit. Right to Stuver's head, eight hands again. Jeez. I mean, I don't think we're going to get past the round of 16, but, you know, I, I think we got a good shot at World Cup stuff, realistically. I think it's, I think we got a good chance at it winning the group. Um, it, it, I think winning the group, it all comes down to that, uh, that L, uh, the LA game. The, uh, that's a handball. The US, uh, England, US England match. How funny would it be if Bale gets injured in the playoffs and misses the World Cup? That'd be just sad. I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, that guy's injury prone more than anything. I saw something earlier that was a question of, so you have to have one in their prime, one in their whole career, and you have to throw away one player. And it was Bale, um, Eden Hazard, and Neymar were the three. So you have to take one in their prime, one for their whole career, and you have to throw one away. What would you guys pick? Oh, Finley. Ah, oh, Finley's a little slow there. What would you? I think I know what I'd do. So Hazard, Bale, and Neymar. Prime whole career. Cut, I guess. Release. Parata coming in. On loan from Tigress. And then Chol is coming in for McFadden. Bale can go by, but really, Ben? Okay. Really? So who's, who's career, who's prime? Can't believe we dropped points to these guys. Atlanta's not good. Everybody was saying Atlanta's gonna be is gonna be on on a roll. I mean, they've they've now gotten seven out of nine. They, I mean, they they're playing well at home. Their defense can't defend a low cross. For sure. Yeah. Ah, uh, long cross. Finds Finley there. That's Driusi. Driusi tried to sneak one through. Rings there. Hits the ball wide for uh, Gallagher, who puts a cross in. Finley's there. Oh, Maxi tries a little scorpion and misses and hits a right towards the keeper. That would have been a great fourth in closing goal. Oh, but yeah. Who would you guys take? Bale, Neymar, or Aiden Hazard? Prime of their career, their full career, and you have to cut, release one of them. Were there the two people? Yeah, ba Bale, Neymar, and Aiden Hazard.
but low cross to the striker and a clean look at goal we can see it's literally so frustrating to see that happen yeah true it's really annoying when it's like you can't defend certain things and once teams figure that out it's over for you Liam is looking Liam is asking for the ball in the middle Neymar full career hazard prime Bale can go play golf interesting interesting so that's two Bale can get released I'll uh, get the back there Gabriel Sin Gabriel Sin owns Joseph Martinez <laughs> terrible pass Joseph oh good defending there 20 minutes or so see I'd say I'd say Eden Hazard prime Gareth Bale full career and Neymar can get cut oh no oh no Rodney Redis is coming on there is no passion there is no vision there is no aggression there is no fucking mindset in this football club Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit. A shot wide. Gabriel, Gabrielson must have watched New York City versus Atlanta playoff game when I was at Joseph. Probably. Guess Moose is sitting out this game. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, we brought on Maxi instead. I think we're keeping Moose for uh, the Copa Teos games. Which I'd be okay with, really. Atlanta didn't do, didn't so didn't so shit that game. Yes. It's a good ball. Ah, Gabrielson. Out for a throw. I did New York tie with this. Yeah, I don't know. Taking a look at the other games going on currently. Uh, 51st minute, Charlotte still won nil. Cincinnati Red Bulls tied one apiece at half. Just kicking off in the second half, you have San Jose up over Toronto. Halftime, Montreal sporting Kansas City. Uh, Coming into the 30, 30th minute, uh, Redis coming on. Oh, Redis holds. Sends one for for Maxi. Maxi sends across. Fagu! Uh, doesn't. Interesting first touch. Interesting first touch. Doesn't quite get there. Um, moving into the 30th minute, Chicago is up over Columbus 1 0. Orlando City, Montreal. Uh, uh, Orlando City, Inter Miami still hasn't kicked off, uh, according to Google. And then just kicking off is Houston against Dallas. Let me see what is what's going on in this game. It got kicked off yet. I don't know. Ah, uh, Lima. Orlando's. Oh, is it a weather delay? Okay. What's is it just stormy or is it uh, anything?
I mean, Rodney Redis is not sure, to be honest. Okay. Let's see. Orlando weather. Shot out, out wide. 77 degrees. Precipitation 83, humidity 90%, wind 20 miles an hour. Thunderstorm. It's lightning and thunderstorms in Atlanta, right? Or in, in Orlando right now. How worried y'all playing on a Tuesday night after today? Yeah. Yes, we played today, we played Tuesday, we play Saturday. And I will be live for all of them. How many wins we have this road trip? Uh, this will be three for three and four out of four. Jared Stroud making minutes. For Fog, Fog who's coming off, Jared Stroud making. There we go. There we go. Good to see Stroud coming in. This will be Austin's 11th win, 11th win of the season. Not gonna lie, I don't wanna I wouldn't I I wouldn't wanna play Austin at home. I'd much rather lose to Yellow Way. You'd right so you'd rather play us at Q2 than in New York. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not play at Wrigley. I'd rather not, after seeing what your field looked like today, that looked terrific. I mean, y'all's field is bad. Yeah, I, I, it's... I'd rather play Q2 as well. <laughs> I think the players would agree. It looked like that Sunday too. It looks bad. It looks really bad. Good defending. This will be the first... This will be the first shutout since Montreal. I love this team doing way better than last. Yeah, especially doing away that much better. First shutout against a team since Montreal. Excuse me, since Charlotte nine days ago. Montreal before that. The last shutout we had before Montreal would be April 23rd against Vancouver. It looked worse if you... Oh, jeez. Seventy-five, seventy-seventh minute here currently. Bombs went over the top. That's Jared Stroud on that far side recovers that. Oaks went back to ring. Who sees Lima? Does get the ball there. Lima looking for a cross. Finds Driusi. So you see, put it on, put it on the inside of the frame, not the outside, really, please. Um, uh, that's not good. <laughs> if we get playoffs at home, there's no Yankee games. We'll look good. Yeah, true. But y'all probably won't make playoffs at home. Good to see Fogu getting some rest as well. That's Fogu getting rest. That's Ruti getting rest. That's um, Driussi getting rest. That's a lot of big name players for us getting rest, which is bit, which is huge. Finley, Mark Turner, Finley was so good tonight that Austin FC needed to sub on two right wingers to replace him. Cross one up. Just right to the hands of the goalkeeper. If you guys are new to the channel, please feel free to go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. It does help us out quite a bit. Foul on Maxi. If we stay in top two, do we get a home playoff? 
Yes. So if we finish fourth, we get home playoff. So it's two playing. It's two plays seven, three plays six, four plays five. If we finish top five or top four, uh, we get playoff. Number one gets a buy the first week, and then two, three, and four play at home. But two will get playoff. We'll get home. It'll be at Q two for the rest for the entirety of playoffs, which is good. Three, you're debating. Three, you're questioning that. So yeah, we want we want two. We want to stay two or surpass LAFC and get that number one spot. Which is possible. I mean, we play uh, two games before they play their next one. We play Dallas and Houston before they play on. Uh, they play Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, early afternoon. Cascante coming off. Romagna coming on. At least top three for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because. So is it two plays seven, then the winner of that plays three versus six? Or is three versus six. How do playoffs work? I don't really pay. I've never, I haven't paid attention to because there's no need, no need to. Do they reseed it again? So number so your the top team plays the lowest seed, like they do in the NFL, or is it um, regular, like one plays seven, the winner of that game plays the winner of three versus six or four versus five? By two versus seven, and then it's one versus the winner of the four five. Okay. And then two okay so it's so it's it's uh regular soccer tournament playoff type scenarios it's not nfl where they reseed and the number one team plays the lowest seeded okay cool good canada comes off uh risotto comes off sosa comes on Yeah, okay. Cool. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure they should release. They should reseed, to be honest. It would be better. I don't know. I like the the pre the preset stuff. So like you know what you have to pay attention to. Not like the teams don't pay attention to the whole playoff system. But I, I do like the non reseeding. Uh Dreusy's down. Shit. They took a slide late. As Redis, Rodney fumbling over the ball. Gets it depossessed. Back to Lima, back to Redis, out for a throw in. Is Driussi still down? Shit. It's a knee as well. No, it's a hammy. No, it's a thigh. Shit. Right. Shit. Just be like a Charlie horse or something, please. All right, Drew, he, it looked like a Charlie horse or something. It looks like he's good now. Back on the ball. Finds Felipe Martins in the middle. Pushes it to Redis. Put it back. There you go. Lima. Not a great cross from Lima, but it's all right. It's Felipe Martins pushing back. 
83rd, 84th minute. Six minutes. Looks like a three-pointer for Austin. Redis back defending. Interesting. That's Jared Stroud just not paying attention. Turns the ball over. He's, he's tracking back with a shot. That's Romagna right there on an own wolf to get a goal. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people. Oh, sorry, that was Gabrielson. Um, I want an own wolf to get a goal. I think a lot of did. A lot of people did. One guy playoffs is better than two. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I prefer two leg playoffs. I prefer home and home. Honestly, I prefer home and home. One creates more excitement, but I think I think two is a legit. If you want to see what's the bet, like who's the better team. I think a, a 101 makes more sense. If that makes sense. John Gallagher heads it up. Nobody there to boot the ball forward again. Cross comes in. Stuver's there. What in the name of Jesus is a Charlie horse? Um, it's where you get hit like on the thigh on the front of your leg, and it just like tenses up real fast. And then if you massage it a little bit, it's it's just a it's like a cramp kind of. Let me see what exactly is a Charlie horse. Charlie horse refers to a muscle cramp that is sudden and painful. It often occurs during exercise and at night. It uh, commonly affects the calf muscle in the lower back of the leg, but can occur in the foot and occasionally the thigh. A lot of times it happens like if you get like an elbow or something to the to the thigh. That's how it's happened to me. Is it's just like you get some sharp pain of some sort right into the middle of your thigh and your muscle just like it just all tightens up and it makes it hard to walk it's just it's a muscle cramp is literally what it is. it's a very easily uh removed and dealt with muscle cramp effectively is it charlie horse not a not a, a saying in, in in ireland in the uk and europe in general interesting charlotte's up to now Yep. Wait, Charlotte? Oh, yeah. I forgot the game was going on. Charlotte's up 2-0 over Nashville. Chicago just went up right before halftime 2-0 over Columbus. That's what I thought you were talking about. I didn't when you get them when you sleep. Oh, bro, those are the worst. You wake up due to it, and you should, you just didn't, you wake up in pain. That is, that's, that is the worst, Ben. Yeah, so looking at the rest of the uh, run, let's wait for this attack to fizzle out for Atlanta. 87th. There we go. Boots it back. We're playing up everybody back. Is that ring down inside the box? He had room. Come on, you you have come on, you have to Referee, stop play! Oh, fucking, thank God. You have to stop that earlier. What the fuck are you doing? Rings down holding his head and you stop play then? You need to stand up ASAP when that happens. Pain goes away. And so, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't I don't, know what exactly happened, but like, you gotta just... He didn't realize I had her. Bruh! He's holding his head. The fuck you mean? <laughs> the fuck you mean he doesn't realize it's a head injury? Stop making excuses for your shit officials, MLS. Pro referees. Yep. Nashville climbed one back. 2-1. 68. 55th. Since he won one over New uh, with New York. Uh, San Jose in the 62nd is still up 1-0 over Toronto. 61st. It's tied. Montreal sporting Kansas City. Halftime, Chicago's up 2-0 over Columbus. 18th minute, still zeros in Houston against Dallas. Orlando City, Miami still on weather delay, it looks like. And then in about an hour, we have Real Salt Lake, Colorado. 
88th minute. I think we're going to end the poll there. 62% of you guys were correct with an Austin FC win. 4% say a draw and 33% say an Atlanta United win. That was up to like 90% earlier, if I'm not mistaken. We're in the poll there. Two and three minutes earlier, ref smoking that good stuff. Yeah, true. It does seem like that. Seattle got smoked today. Yeah, they did. That's a free kick. That's Gabrielson there. But that's Romania. What am I saying? Somebody just said that Q2 is the LAFC with green. Three minutes of stoppage. Probably meant thanks California just in yeah that's what I'm saying it's like no because it was on a easy win tonight going to be hard in the next three games eh. yeah I think it's just hard just because of the uh, um uh kind of what those games are like especially that quickly hopefully hopefully Carosa can come in and do something which is good uh but yeah so that's on a tweet that said um. The 3252 is the standard in MLS supporter groups. Uh, some of them responded, I don't think that's fair to say until you, we, until you see how they are. If slash when their team isn't transcendent, it's easy to have passion when things go well, which I agree with. Uh, MLS Network says, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no matter what LAFC has the best atmosphere in the league and it can't be debated much. And I said, maybe try to take a trip to Q2 before making a comment like that with the supporter section. And somebody said, copy paste, add green. And I said, I'm sorry, what? That's just incorrect. Maxi. Redis. That's it back. Slides. LFC has no fans when they sign. Yeah, exactly. And then MLS Network says, I respect the effort and also respectfully, uh, the answer is no. I'm like, well, no. We beat it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, and the atmosphere was dog shit in, in LA. I'm like, bruh, nah. He, congratulations for speaking out of your ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. When they're losing, it's all bad. They had to switch back to Galaxy. True. Hey, Seb, you. Oh, no. Seb's gone. Apparently, there's fans streaming out of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the 80th minute. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. At least, at least, awesome fans stayed to the final whistle. And later, oh, plus most of the fan base is a bounded fan base of Chivas. Yeah, true. Oh. MLS don't really like, no, no, they don't. And that's fine. 
right but hold on before we end before we end before we end before we end uh let me see hold on is this uh emiliano or emilian yeah emiliano uh rigoni is apparently linked to a quote unnamed club in the mls Emiliano Ragoni is a Argentine right winger who plays for Sao Paulo. Played for Zenit the same time that Driussi played for Zenit, so he knows Driussi. Um, he has this season. Here's an interview with the ref, with the official, where with the head coach of Atlanta. Unacceptable. The word used from Gonzalo Pineda during our Children's Healthcare of Atlanta coach interview. A clean sheet for Brad Stuber. A couple of fine saves from the big man. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that's in my FC. No. It sounds like Austin. Well, that's three three goals, three points, eleventh win of the season, fourth consecutive on the road. Which is big. Three goals. Three goals for Austin. Hold on. One for Drusy, one for Finley, one for Felipe. Two in the first 20 minutes. We didn't quite get the 9 0 that I was hoping for uh, early. And the broadcast just cuts out like that. Love that, ESPN. I hope that uh, when it moves to. Uh, Apple TV, they'll do a little bit more pre and post game. So, NYFC already has, uh, NYFC already has so many wingers that you don't need another one. True, and we don't have a whole lot of wingers, so it'd be nice to get some. Brian, thanks guys, great win. Love being here today for the game. Do you guys get? Yeah, no, it was great having you in. Um, it was great having you in. Feel free to come hang out anytime. I wanted five. I wanted nine, Ben, but you know we can't get it. <laughs> it's all right though. Uh, yeah, we're doing these, like you guys know, we're doing these pretty much every single uh, game day. We will be back here again on Tuesday, and then we will be back again on Saturday. Pretty a striker. Tati might be leaving us in the coming week. Yeah, he doesn't like playing on baseball stadiums. Maybe if you guys got a pitch, actually, he'd like to play. Maybe. No. Cool. Maybe he just doesn't like your club. I don't know. It's all in Tati's head. Good win for uh, good win for Austin. First time we played them and we scored three goals and shut them boys. I'm so pretty out dominating today. Pretty accurate. Austin FC Twitter real fast. Bro, a huge shout out to Austin FC defense or shout out to the Austin FC defense tonight. I'm not talking of just Gabrison or the back line. I'm talking about the whole team. The defense got so much better and it's organized. It has been for the last few games. I'm loving it. I would agree. See you later, Great win for us. Now time to beat Houston's ass next. Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't be pretty hard. I mean, that shouldn't really be hard. Uh, I mean, Houston's pretty trash. How are they playing right now? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, they're losing to Dallas. So, uh, yeah, that's not good. Losing to Dallas under 30 minutes. Games, our game is final. The other games that are close to final, Charlotte over Nashville, 2-1 still, 78 minutes. Uh, Toronto, San Jose tied at 1 apiece, 72nd. Uh, Cincinnati with a red card now, uh, still tying New York Red Bulls 1-1, 65th minute. 71st minute, you have Montreal losing to sport Sporting Kansas City. Montreal uh, seems kind of like a bonus game right now. At, at halftime still, Chicago over Columbus, 2-0. Still a weather delay is that Orlando City Miami game. 
Uh, Dallas has taken the lead over Dynamo inside 30 minutes, and then also kicking off in about an hour is the Real Salt Lake, Colorado. Then we will be live at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific. Excuse me, on Tuesday the 12th in three days for Austin's Copa Tejas game against the Houston Crynamo. Uh Looks like they're really going to be crying after they lost to Dallas. Uh, anybody on Twitter, on Austin FC Twitter, get involved in the uh, the Twitter action between these two clubs because it is fun. We live rent free, and if one thing describes Houston, it's this. There is no passion. There is no vision. There is no aggression. There is no fucking mindset in this football club. And if you want something to describe Dallas, that would be this. Sometimes may be good. Sometimes may be shit. It's pretty accurate, don't you think? But that's most likely going to do it for us. I don't know why it still says there we're approaching the hundred minutes, uh, but we are not. Foot Mob does not do a very good job of uh, just ending the time because it is definitely not the 99th, hundredth minute. Game should be full time. Uh, let me see if I can fix that real fast before we end. There, that should refresh it. That should fix it. There we go. Full time Austin FC three Atlanta United nil. Pretty solid win for Austin. Uh, do we have stats up here? Let's see if I come down. Yes, thirty eight percent possession for Austin, sixty two for Atlanta. Two point six four expected goals to Atlanta's one point two. Atlanta did have nineteen total shots, but we had five on target. Two big chances missed. Uh, we had seventy five percent possession uh, accurate passes. They had 437, uh, which is 86%. We had 252. They had 10 fouls committed. We had 14. One offside apiece. We didn't have a single corner today. Atlanta had nine. Dreesy gets a goal. Uh, Finley gets a goal. And then Felipe gets, should have had two realistically. But that is going to do it for us. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you have and are not already subscribed, please feel free to go down below and do that. Um, what's up, Kelly? We're just ending. We're just, you missed the game. Uh, I will be back on Tuesday, though, uh, for the game against uh, Houston, 8 p.m. Central, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Good game, good three points, four out of four on the road, which is big, and we've just hit... 11 wins 11 wins plus 16 goal differential 37 points we are currently uh two points two points behind lafc uh with two games playing before your while oh, i'm in in here in here you missed the game um uh what was i saying yeah we have two matches we play tuesday against houston and then we play again saturday against dallas before LA plays their next game against Nashville on Sunday. So we will be uh, we'll be here Tuesday, Saturday for those games. But like normal, I hope you guys have a safe rest of your weekend, safe Saturday night, uh, and I'll catch you guys Tuesday. Peace. Enjoy.